hi guys welcome back so uh, till now we have seen a uh, data driven approach using excel and uh, using tds okay uh, and tcd as well okay so now uh, today we will see how we can uh, achieve the data driven using the database okay um, will i'll try to finish it uh, as soon as possible i will not take much time okay so um this is my uh, database okay sql database uh, in that i have one table called uh, registered data okay in that i have four rows of data some random data i have just created one table and inserted data okay and this is a demo web shop uh, um, website and once you click on register we have these fields okay so uh, we will use this small scenario okay to register um, functionality for uh, this four um, different users which are available in database okay so we will quickly finish this so <coughs> let's jump to tosca and i have already created a test case data driven using database okay so now we have one table uh, in database uh, with four different users okay we need to register these four uh, users one by one okay so for that what we have to do first we will take uh, the count of records how many records are there in the database so that we can iterate one by one okay so as you all know to work with the database we have um, standard module available under database t box db expert module i will take i will drag and drop here okay let's give some proper name Okay, the total record count from database. Okay, so to connect with the database, uh, we need ODBC connection, and we have I have already done ODBC setup. Okay, in my previous video where I have shown how to connect with the database so you can see sql db and these are my details server details okay so you can watch the uh, previous videos if you are not aware of this just give some connection name just i am giving connection one and dsn sql db i have given dsn name the odbc okay sql statement so um i have to get the count so this is the query select count from my table name okay so let me just run this query in here okay so i am getting count as four okay so we will capture this dollar one first record and first cell okay i will give i will just give one buffer name count give buffer let's quickly run and check whether we are able to buffer the total count as four uh, let's see buffer with count has been set to value four okay we have got the count total four records we have so now what we have to do we have to create one folder it will give name as reputation okay and in reputation how many times it should iterate we will pass the count here buffer of count let's check the spelling okay count now inside reputation uh, we want to fetch the user detail one by one all the details okay first iteration it will be first record like that we have to fetch four records so what we will do we'll just copy paste this step 
inside this and instead of count star we'll just give star and here either you can use hash one hash two like that or else you can use the column name here whatever column name is available you can use here same column name first sorry first name sorry last name email then password and gender okay so we have to buffer it so you just uh, small first name here last name email password then gender okay buffer okay now instead of uh, dollar one here we will pass here repetition so every time the repetition count will change and we'll get the record so now we have buffered the data and after buffering we have to input in in the application okay for that we have already um, module available let me just search that module okay here it is demo web shop register okay okay here already we have one check for oh, sorry radio button for ma mail so i am just clicking okay you can buffer and you can provide the value okay first name so whatever value we have buffered here we are passing into the application buffer of last name then email same way we have pw pwd and then buffer of pwd and register will give x okay so now what will happen uh, in the first iteration it will take the first record repetition count will be one after buffering it will enter into the application it will click on register okay so this should continue for four times as we have uh, four rows of data in the database okay so before that what i will do i will um, use close browser open url okay this both i will take here open url we will just take this register one okay and in the close browser we'll what is that demo okay we'll use demo star okay so our test case is ready okay so let me uh, drag this inside this so it should close the browser and uh, this open also it should be inside repetition okay so test case is ready whether this will work or not registered first user now it registered second user now it registered third user and now it registered fourth user so 
so our test case has run four times you can see here every iteration it has buffered um, each record and then it has entered into the application and it has registered okay this is just a, a sample a demo i showed okay taking this register example okay you can try with the uh, different scenarios but the approach will be same okay yeah for this scenario guys just let me know um, if you have any doubt on this okay or if you are trying and facing an issue just comment okay we'll try to uh, reply uh, to your comment okay okay and uh, one more update like anyone uh, if anyone in, is interested uh, to join uh, my tosca training classes just uh, let me know okay soon i am going to start a new batch okay yeah okay guys thank you bye bye